your name? Brian Harris, aka the BHB. And where are you from, Brian? Columbus, Indiana. Born in Anderson, Indiana, but raised in Columbus, Indiana. What is your profession? Profession, music producer. Who did you learn from? I learned from a producer named Idub, and he was from the, the North Vernon, Indiana area. I was a, a teenager in high school. He was in, I'd say, his early to mid 20s, and he was just a well advanced producer when it came to uh, the software uh, uh, kind of era and when that was kind of coming up with your Fruity Loops and your Reasons and stuff like that. And he really just showed me how to, how to really just be comfortable and kind of just get into that as a way of, of production rather than the expensive equipment that they were using at the time. I, I got a lot of that nurturing to want to just, you know, keep going and, and, and keep exploring with my music. So is that really who inspired you to become a producer? Yes, yes. I've always I've always loved beats ever since I was a kid. At nine years old, had this alarm clock. You could set it, it was digital, you know, and that stuff was coming out, you know, we were kids. I had one of those that had a radio on it. So when the, the alarm went off, it the radio came on. And I was always listening to, you know, to whatever that hip hop station was in Indianapolis from back in the day. It had a lot of that, that like crazy town and Timberland uh, beats and Aaliyah and stuff like that from that area, the early 2000s, you know. Yeah, when I was like nine and 10. So that's what I really learned how to, how to really listen for that sound and kind of just, just waking up. And I still to this day have a lot of those songs stuck in my head. Butterfly by Crazy Town is a great song. <laughs> what gear do you use? I use a machine, the MK2. I've used the MK1, but I just, I like the MK2, but I like it with the 2012 update. I actually have not updated it from the 2012, 2013 era because I love, I love the way that that, that software is laid out. They use the new software and the new updates and I just, I just don't like it. So that's, that's kind of what I use. I also use Reason and, and, and uh, Fruity Loops to, to kind of mix and master. I kind of interchange between both depending on what I'm doing. Do you have a musical background that you like started off with all this with? No, uh, my grandma always, you know, told me, you know, your palms is, is little, but your fingers is long. You should play the piano. That's, you know, when I was in high school, it's kind of when I was really experienced trying to, you know, make music and do different stuff. And that's when I really realized I was good at it. I was like, dang, I should have listened to my grandma them years ago. But grandma always knows, you know? <laughs> How does your sound differ from other beats that you hear? I think my sound is always different because I'm always trying to go against the absolute grain. I'm always trying to challenge the expectations of what people would expect to hear. I'm always trying to come up with that new thing for that next year, for that next five years. I'm always trying to see ahead of what's kind of going on right now because I think that it's those type of sounds that really break through and carry on to the next generation. But I also believe in diving back too and seeing old school and how they did it in the past in the ways to come up with new sounds too. Are there any specific artists um, that you want to work with? It's the baby. T.I. is another one just because he was one of my favorite rappers as, as a kid growing up, especially the teenager yeah that ti trap music will forever hit i like a lot of pharrell and, and timberland's works too i would love to work with them not just necessarily so much an artist level but definitely a, a production level and kind of see see how they how they uh how they kind of get down um there's also another producer that i've been following him on soundclick since i even knew what soundclick was and ever since i ever heard one of his beats and he's actually a producer I mean, his name is Epic the Don. He's kind of more underground, doesn't want to be signed, but I've always just really listened to his music and kind of learned from him and learned, w really watched his tutorials and how he mixes and, and things like that. He's just got a certain swing to his drums that I think that really is just interesting. Name some artists that you've already worked with. Mm. I have worked with MGK, I have worked with Mecha Don. I have worked with uh, Busy Bone from the Bone Thugs. He's laid a verse down on the remix to a song that Megadon and MGK did. Uh, I've worked with a lot of artists here and there, so a lot of beats for production. Um, definitely work with, I, I'm trying to work with more local and kind of see what's out there and see kind of the next generations of stuff. Uh, Cali, Cali High World, at my boy out in Texas. He's a producer that I've worked with. I've worked with Keyshawn Johnson, which is another producer. We've collabed on a beat. So I've worked with different artists and producers. What's a big turning point in your career thus far? I think one of the biggest turning points of my career, besides you know the artists and some of the producers that I've told you about, you know, obviously one of them is a superstar now. Had a little beef there going on with one of my other favorite rappers. <laughs> but uh, 
I think the biggest kind of turning point just with me personally, regardless of anybody else in their position, is just me sitting down, simply listening to other producers' beats. I think that that is the one thing that after all this time that has kept me going because I'm always hearing something interesting. Even if I don't think that the guy has, I don't know, done it as long as me, I still find something interesting that he has done, period. Because my mind is just that open. I do have a lot of people who do stop me. Some people have stopped me because they've seen all my ads on Instagram or whatever and it's just weird because what I've learned about being known or having social influence or fame, as everybody calls it, is you don't just wake up with screaming fans. It's, hey, you're that guy or, oh wait, and then it turns into, oh, you're Brian. And then it, sometimes it turns into people just walking down the street and talking to you. <laughs> Where can people buy your beats at? Arabic.com slash Brian Harris online. Purchase a lot of the beats that I'm releasing and things like that. And you can DM me on any of these sites and I will definitely get you anything you need. I'm not uh, uh, above that at all. Anybody who's talking serious, you know, come, if you come to me serious, I'm definitely going to work with you. Do you want to shout anybody out? I want to shout you out. The interviewer, yes you, Courtney, always. I mean, that's just definitely you first, always. Thank you for the opportunity, thank you for giving me this interview. I'm always humble for any of anyone's time that they spend on me for any reason. Uh, shout out definitely to Idub if he ever sees this interview, because I cannot believe, I mean, you knew that I would get to this point, man, and we're here. Um, <clears throat> shout out to my man, Cali Highworld. I mean, he was a consistent fan that I've actually started working with on a personal basis because he's just so prominent. He's really serious about not only my music, but his music too. I mean, he's just, uh, uh, you know, they say everybody doesn't need a yes man, but sometimes that yes man puts you back to in perspective. And he's just who I've begun to reference to in those times at certain points. So shout out to him, shout out to my parents, shout out to God and all the deities. Shout out to, you know, anyone who is just taking the time out to listen to this interview, honestly. Out. <laughs>